Hi there, this is Mark McRae and today I want to talk to you about work ethic. So in the 90s I used to have a magazine and I would go around interviewing entrepreneurs and successful people and ask them what their secret was. I mean, how did you manage to make millions of dollars? And of all the answers, I'd say 95% plus the common theme was they said, hard work. They never said they were lucky, they never said that they were geniuses, they never said that they were somehow got divine inspiration, it was just solid hard work. And recently I was at a dinner party and I was talking to this entrepreneur and he said to me, um, I asked him what he did and he told me and he said, look, you know, I said, I'm really tired. He said, I've been at this for a few years now and I just work too many, too many hours. And what I, th so I said to him, how many hours do you work? And what I thought he was going to tell me would be 80, 90, 100 hours. That would be considered reasonably long hours. But he said, no, I he said, I work 40 hours a week. And I looked at him stunned and because it was a dinner party I didn't want to say too much but what was going through my head was um, 40 hours is like a job. If you're going to run a business successfully, especially in the early days, you're going to work, you're going to have to have really good work ethic, right? You're going to have to go in there and you're going to have to burn the midnight oil and you're going to have to work the long hours. and do those 80, 100 hour weeks because that's what it needs. You just need to cover so much ground and do it smartly, but you're still going to have to work a lot of hours. There's no way around that. I've never seen anybody do it who didn't do that. You know, as you progress and you become more successful, you can ease off, you can, you can try and balance your life a bit better, but in the beginning, you need to do the work. And it's not going to come to you if you're doing 10 hours a week. And I know that a lot of people have to do a side hustle, that's fine. But ultimately, you're going to get what you put in. So if you're living in that dream, if you wake up every day and you step into the dream, the hours don't count. I mean, usually when I have to stop working, it's because of an event. It's somebody's party, it's somebody's birthday or we're going somewhere or doing something otherwise I'm quite ha happy to work indefinitely because I enjoy it but I guess that's the cautionary tale is don't think that you're going to build an amazing business on 40 hours a week you just won't you know as you become more experienced and you build a team around you sure but in the beginning you're going to need to work the hours Anyway, it might not be good news for some of you, but it is the truth. So if you like these tips, the best place to get me is on YouTube. And if you go there, please subscribe. The subscriptions let me know that somebody's listening on the other side. That's all for today. Thanks for listening.